Hello, this is uh, the resourceful human Rick Moore. And on this channel, our intention is to bring entrepreneurial information to our business leader community. And on this channel, we learned what we we share what we've learned um, running a national uh, human resources business. And this includes things like products and services that we've developed, as well as lessons that we've learned about running a business from operations to marketing to sales automation and all the things that go into running your business. So if you like what you hear, we ask you to do two small things. And these two th small things have a cumulative effect on the big picture and the goal we're trying to bring to our business leader community. One is to hit the like button, the little thumbs up below, and the other is to subscribe to our channel. So I appreciate you being here today. Uh, today is Monday. It is, uh, it is August 16th. So over the weekend, uh, I was just banging around on uh, LinkedIn and, and YouTube, and I was just reading various sources of uh, business information to see what I can find that was going on in the world, just to try to learn new things, as entrepreneurs always do. And I came across a bunch of resources that were talking about an expansion of the EIDL up to $2 million. So as most of us know, it started at 150 was the maximum amount, then they came up to 500,000. Then depending on your business, what they're talking about now, and none of this is confirmed, so please check with your sources, but there's a lot of chatter about this, a lot of reference to it in the SBA, that the EL, EIDL formula is going to be increase to a formula that is 24 months of working capital up to $2 million. So this uses your 2019 revenue. Uh, this is your tax return from your 2019 revenue for, minus your cost of goods sold and up to two times that amount up to a maximum of $2 million. So I found this little tool, this skip dashboard here, and here's the calculation. So think of your you can use your, for example, your 1120, uh, take your gross receipts, which is line one, or, you know, and then your line two, which is your cost of goods sold. You plug them in here. So I set an example. So let's say you had a million dollar uh, revenue in, or top line in 2019. Your cost of goods were 500,000. And so far, you've received 500000 in EIDL funding. If this new program comes through, uh, then you could be eligible to receive an additional $500,000. So again, this is unconfirmed information. Uh, not sure exactly of the specifics, so you'll have to talk to your advisors. But I came across this. I'm hearing a lot of chatter about it on uh, various news sources, LinkedIn, YouTube, et cetera. So I really encourage you to look into it and find out more. So truly appreciate you watching this video. And as I mentioned earlier, the cumulative effect of liking and subscribing to our channel will help us reach our goal, which is to reach 30,000 or connect with 30,000 subscribers by September 1st of 2022. Thanks so much for watching and stay, stay human and stay resourceful.